If you are one of those folks who can stay up all night and doesn't fancy early wake-ups, you might have some early human Denisovan DNA in you. Now, don't worry, those guys, who were closely related to the Neanderthals, were pretty cool. And it looks like we've got to thank them for inventing fashion. Plus, if you do have Denisovan DNA in you, you could be better adapted to living at high altitudes, have extra muscle strength and endurance, and a stronger immune system. Scientists first discovered Denisovans in 2008 when they found a small piece of a finger bone in Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains. They learned that the bone belonged to a little girl who was between 5 and 7 years old when she passed away around 40,000 years ago. The cold weather in the cave kept the bone in excellent condition. A couple of years later, another team of researchers managed to extract DNA from the find. They compared it to the DNA of modern humans and another ancient human species, Neanderthals. Her DNA was similar to both, but it was also different enough to show that she was part of an entirely new species of humans. No one had known about this group before. They decided to name it Denisovans, after the cave where they found her tiny finger bone. Later, they discovered three more Denisovan fossils, including some teeth, also inside the same cave. Scientists also found Denisovan fossils in caves in China and Laos, and one jawbone with teeth on the Tibetan Plateau, over 10,000 feet above sea level. Scholars used a technique called uranium series dating on the mineral stuck to the bone. They discovered that it was 160,000 years old. It proves that Denisovans lived at high altitudes much earlier than anyone thought ancient humans could. For comparison, Neanderthals rarely went higher than 6,000 feet. Scientists had already found a special gene in Denisovan DNA that helps people survive in low-oxygen environments. But the Siberian cave where Denisovans lived was only 2,300 feet above sea level. Today, many people living in high places like Tibet, including Sherpas and other local groups, have this same helpful gene. It likely entered their DNA thousands of years ago when Denisovans and modern humans mixed. Because this gene made it easier to live in thin air, it became very common in those populations over time thanks to natural selection. It looks like the Denisovans also had wider skulls than those of us or Neanderthals. They also appeared to have no chin. They did have sloping foreheads, long faces, and large pelvises like Neanderthals, and a large dental arch like modern humans. Denisovans had narrower lips and shorter yet wider noses than modern humans. The scientific community still doesn't know where the Denisovans came from. But one theory says they were ancestors of Homo erectus. Those were the oldest known early humans who had modern human-like body proportions with elongated legs and shorter arms compared to the size of the torso. About 700,000 years ago, some of them traveled from Africa to Eurasia, probably not by bus. These travelers were like the great-great-great-grandparents of the Denisovans and the Neanderthals. Scientists believe that these two groups split up both in where they lived and in their DNA around 370,000 years ago. The Neanderthals moved west and settled in Europe and some parts of Western Asia. They lived everywhere from the Atlantic Ocean in Europe to the Altai Mountains. The Denisovans went in the opposite direction, east into East Asia and Southeast Asia. They even traveled to places like the Philippines and Papua New Guinea and crossed the Wallace Line, which separates Asia from Australia. Researchers have found Denisovan DNA in the genetic code of modern humans from Australia and Melanesia. It's a region in the southwestern Pacific Ocean from Papua New Guinea to the Fiji Islands. Now, it's also possible that you have Denisovan DNA if you come from East Asia, although it's less likely. Central and South Americans also have something Denisovan in their genomes. If you want to be sure, you can take a genetic test that will show the exact percentage, if any. Now, Neanderthals and Denisovans lived in places far from the equator, where the amount of daylight changes a lot with the seasons. Modern humans originally lived closer to the equator, where the length of day and night stays almost the same all year. Scientists think that these differences might have influenced how our internal clocks, called circadian rhythms, evolved to help us wake up, go to sleep, 
and feel energetic at the right times of the day. In 2017, researchers found that some of the genes that affect how people sleep are linked to latitude, how far north or south someone lives. These genes might have helped ancient humans living in northern areas adjust their body clocks to the changing seasons. Scientists studied DNA from three Neanderthals, one Denisovan, and one modern human. Neanderthals and Denisovans who lived in high-latitude areas, where the amount of daylight changes a lot, had genes that helped them adjust to those light cycles. Modern humans in Africa didn't need those same adaptations because their days and nights stayed more consistent. While modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans had children together, some of their descendants inherited Neanderthal genes that made them more likely to be morning people. Scientists think this wasn't just an evolutionary advantage, but rather a way for their body clocks to adjust more quickly to the changing light in high-latitude regions. A faster internal clock might have helped them wake up and go to bed earlier, which made it easier to adapt to new light patterns. The researchers only studied DNA from four ancient humans, and it's hard to tell if these changes in circadian genes were only because of light cycles or also due to other factors, like temperature. Another thing Denisovans probably left behind is fashion. Now, researchers discovered the world's earliest sewing needles with tiny holes for threading in Denisova Cave. These needles date back to the last glacial maximum. Before these fancy needles, people living in the cave used simple tools called bone awls, which didn't have holes for thread. These were fine for making basic clothes, but when the weather turned freezing during the Ice Age, they needed better tools to create more layers of clothing to stay warm. The Denisovans designed the first eyed needles to stitch together more tightly fitted clothing that could trap heat better. These needles were a big step forward because they allowed for fine sewing that could make their clothes not only warmer, but also more comfortable and durable. Plus, clothes became a way for them to express themselves. Before the Ice Age, people showed off their creativity with body paint and other marks. But when they started covering their skin with clothes to stay warm, they lost those canvases for art. So they began to decorate their clothes instead. Using eyed needles, they could sew beads, fur, and other materials onto their garments and turn simple clothes into works of art. Perhaps it was the beginning of bling. Denisovans sound too good to be true, but they might have passed over one mean gene to you. It helps move zinc around in our cells, and this gene was especially helpful to our ancestors who lived in cold places because it helped them survive the frost. But if there's too much or too little zinc in the body, it might make you predisposed to mental health issues. This gene originally came from people in Asia. But over time, it spread to people in Europe, the Americas, and all around the world. Scientists are still trying to figure out why the Neanderthals and Denisovans disappeared, while we, Homo sapiens, survived. The DNA of our extinct long-distance relatives showed that they lived in small groups and often had families within those groups, which might have caused some problems. Our ancestors live in bigger groups with more people and had genetic diversity. This means that there was a mix of traits that can help stay healthier or adapt to changes in weather. Neanderthals and Denisovans didn't have this advantage. Another thing that helped Homo sapiens was the wide social networks that allowed them to share new ideas and tools. So Denisovans probably just couldn't handle the big changes on Earth and adapt to new habitats and disappear. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.